Oh, one right there. All right, Hooper, I know what we're gonna do. We need to go get the net. There's two of them right there. Cause you know why? If I had the net right now, if I shake them out and then go in the water, I can scoop them out. That one I can scoop, look at him. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna get him if he comes here. Yeah, he's coming. Uh, uh, look, Hooper. Holy, look, look, there's more. And guys, drop a comment and let us know how much you think we're gonna fill into our uh, our bucket. We don't even know how much we have right now. But drop a comment and let us know. We're gonna go and try to fill it up. People don't realize that they dig holes, but the really big alpha ones and the ones that do not wanna lose their territory, they will stay on their trees. They will not give it up because they know. Ooh, and I think I found a nest. Look at all these eggs. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, he's right there. Oh my God. Special shout outs to FX Air Gun and Paramount Air. Oh my God. Hyper orange. Oh. Ooh. The finesse. The finesse. <laughs> my goodness. Oh my gosh. Definitely. Six hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Raj the Iguana Man, back at you with another video. Uh, today is the second day of winter and it is cold as you can see. Uh, I do have my jacket on, long sleeves, and I got my headlight. Uh, we're gonna go see if we can get some frozen iguanas at a new job that I just acquired. Should be really cool. During the day, they're super smart, super fast. So we have a, a certain spot that we're gonna check out. It's by a pump house that they used to pump water and filter water. Apparently the iguanas are just having a field day out there. Silly guys. Since we are gonna be out there at night, we're gonna be using flashlights and this will be a great, great opportunity to give a special thanks to the sponsor of tonight's video, Olight. These guys make the best lights in the game. Super bright, super light, fast charging, long lasting, reliable, an excellent light source. Boom, look how it just lights this up right here gives you a nice nice visual a thousand lumens 1500 lumens 2000 lumens they have some really cool stuff so check this out let me show you the brand right here special thanks to our friends at o light all right never be left without light actually we're going to go ahead and put our link in the description if you guys want to go ahead and check them out you can use our code save some money and it really helps out the channel all right and get ready. You can hear it on my voice is hoarse, man. I'm tired. Y'all been working me too hard, man. But I get it. I'm back on the grind. Silly iguanas got to get caught. Got to get put in the bag. So, guys, we're going to go to this nighttime adventure. We have a lot of questions. Are the iguanas are there? How many are we going to catch? Are they going to be frozen? Find out on tonight's episode of Raj the Iguana Man. Let's go get some frozen ones. Something's Yo, look at that fish. Dinosaur fish. We out here, baby. That's what they call the pleco. The big uh, algae fish, armored catfish. Look at him. Yo, he's coming right towards us. There's two of them. You see that, Hooper? Yeah. What? No way, dude. Not here today. Yo, I got my net, bro. Yo, but anyways, what we're doing out here is the second day of winter in Florida. And I know you've probably seen on the news something about frozen iguanas. We're with our boy Larry Hooper. What's up, Hooper? What's going on, guys? We are out here, man. Oh, we got more fish. And we're going to go check some trees today. And we're going to see if we see any iguanas. You see us that? Yeah. Like, comment, hit the red subscribe button. We are out here. And it's cold. Yo, this has got to be a hot spot right here. You know why I say that? We got a building and also look at the bank right here you see how it's like more messed up like right in this area than like the other areas yeah you see how this one just looks a little bit more cracked out yeah it's all cracked up for me going oh shoot we got one right here whoa you see him he's hugging on the tree like a koala koala all right, we're in the red spot. Yo, look at this. Back 
back of this pump station right here. It's all rotted up. It's all, that's probably it. Pretty sure there might be a couple of iguanas in there taking refuge. But we're looking for the ones that are out of the shop. But they're all, they're all right here. They're all in these. Look. Yeah, Maybe I can shake. Maybe so. Look, there's, look, you see that one right there? Look right there, Hooper. Yeah. There's two of them. Holy smokes. Yo, let me try to shake this real quick. If not, I got a net. We can probably net these silly ones. Holy smokes. He's bunking down. Yeah. It's too sus, bro. Oh. Grab one of these trees. Oh, one right there. All right, Hooper, I know what we're gonna do. We need to go get the net. There's two of them right there. Cause you know why? If I had the net right now, if I shake them out and then go in the water, I can scoop them out. That one I can scoop, look at him. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna get him if he comes here. Yeah, he's coming. Oh, oh. Yep, come closer, buddy. He noticed that water was cold. <laughs> oh, he's sinking. Uh oh, we gotta go save him. Oh, oh no. He's right there. Hold on, let me make sure I don't have that in my pocket. That's susk. All right. You see what happened though, Hooper, right? Yeah. Nah, dude. Look at him. I can't go down there and get him, Hooper. What's going on? We're back. Doing some uh, frozen iguana catching. All right, this is day two of winter, y'all. We're about to go see if we can get us some iguanas. As you guys know, man, here in Florida, we have crazy iguanas. Their pets gone wild, and boy, oh boy, they are fast and hard to catch. So a lot of us Floridians, we've been waiting for it, the temperatures to get cold where we can get them and they'll be frozen. So that's what we're hoping today. We just found this tree right here. There's, I see a, a bunch of them right there. They're like sleeping in the tree. I don't know if they're frozen or what, but we shook it and as you guys seen, some little ones were out here swimming. So I don't know what that means, but let's see if that guy's still here. Oh, hey, look, he's right there. He's still there, Hooper, look. Go ahead and get him. Come here, buddy. Oh, oh, there he is right there. Oh, look, he's on land. Oh, shoot. Just follow the light, buddy. He doesn't know where he's going. Look. Look at that. And he's a leopard. Hey, buddy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Hooper. Oh, shoot. Oh. He's like, oh, shoot. He's sliding. Come here. Gotcha. Ooh, spicy. Look at that. Gorgeous red leopard. Variation right there, a locality. And he is feisty. I'm going to call you Whipper. All right, Mr. Whipper, you've been a silly boy in the back. Man, that is so cool. All right, so you guys see the gist of the, the plan? We're gonna shake this tree. Whatever iguanas come out, we're gonna try netting them, and then we're gonna put them in the box in the back. This is pretty sweet. All right, we'll be right back. All right, let's go. All right. We got a lot of work to do. And Hooper, watch out, because there's some stuff out here, you know? Like tripping hazards. There are a lot of iguanas out here. And like I said, I was hearing, I, I was talking to a, a native Floridian. He's like, all we need is a good week of cold weather. And guys, I think we have it right here. So we're gonna see if we can take advantage of this cold weather and catch a bunch of frozen ones. So if they jump, we're hoping. Oh, was that an iguana? I don't know. How, how did he jump out there? But if they if they jump, or, what was that? That sounded like an iguana. But how how could he be out there? Oh shoot! There goes this one. Oh, there goes that one. Where is he? He's right here. Look, he's trying to go inside of a hole. 
You see that? Stay right here, Hooper. Don't go swimming, buddy. I'll net him. That's why we got a net. Oh, he's in there. Oh, he's right there. He's right there, Hooper. Hold on. Dang, he went in the depths, bro. Yeah. All right, well, he's gone. Hopefully, he pops back up. Let's try it again. All right, we got the extendo on the pole. Now we're pushing about oh, 12 foot. Look at that, look right in there in that, in that crevice. You can stay right here, Hooper. We got, we got two of them right there. Now we wanna get them without getting them in the water, but you see how they're on that tree. It's kind of hard. Maybe if we go around them on top of them. Oh shoot, oh no, oh shoot. All right, we got one right here. Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. Yes, sir. Iguana man with the field goal, baby. In the net. Oh, look at this one. Yo, we got a fat female. That is a big, look at her. Look at that. That is a crazy specimen. And as you guys can see what we were talking about about them. Ooh. As you guys can see what we were talking about, about them being frozen, they're in this different state of mind where they're, they're cold, they're conscious, but their bodies can't react because they're cold blooded. Look at that. That is a nice specimen. Gorgeous invasive green iguana. Whoa, calm down, sweetheart. Man. Wow. All right, we're gonna add her to the box. Oh shoot, and you guys can see the size comparison of them. Small little leopard. Look at that. Look at that specimen right there. And then we got a big female. That's a big female right there, dude. Wow. All right. Sweet. All right, we got that big daddy up there. I want to get him. And then once we get uh, secured the area a little bit, we're gonna get out the uh, thermometer and give you guys some field data. What's going on out here as far as uh, wind direction, temperature. There's a couple calculations so you guys can see. But hold on, there's more. You see him out there, right? There? I do. Yeah, big red. And you can stay right there, Larry, because we don't want. We're gonna put it over him and try to yoink him, but he might flip. Oh shoot, there he is. Oh shoot. Oh, there he is, right into the net. Right into the net. Oh, Swinging it towards you, stay right there, buddy. Oh man. Oh. Oof. Oof. We're gonna let him back up. See what, see what he's working with. Look at that, trying to whip that tail. Yep. No, shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. He almost got away there. All right, let me secure this big boy. Man, and this right here, ladies and gents, is a stud of an iguana. We would call this boy right here a big orange alpha male. Out the tree, baby. If you look closely at him, man, he is strong. Even cold like this, he is strong. Guys, if it was warm, as soon as he fell in the water, he would have been gone, and there's no way in heavens I would be able to hold this guy like this right now. He would be going crazy and he would be trying to bite, scratch and tail with me, but he's cold. Look, he's cold, he can't run. But he knows instinctively to try to go back to the water. Look, he knows. He's gonna try to slide right back in. But you know, we can't let him do that. Now he's, he's gotta chill. But real quick, what I wanted to show you, let me see this real quick. So right quick, if you look right here, you can see all those scratches. Is, it, is the light too bright or can you see? No, I can see. You can see? Okay. You see all those scratches right there, look. 
scratch, scratch, scratch. He's been getting bit by a lot of iguanas, dude. That means there's probably a lot of females in prime territory out here. Yo, he, he even got bit right here on his dewlap. See that, that scar right there? See that scar? That's fresh, a couple days old. And that's what these guys are doing out here in the winter time. Some of these big ones, whoa, he's just tell In the winter time, these iguanas, they breed here in Florida. Uh, no, starting in November and ending in February is the breeding and egg season out here for invasive iguanas. And also, a lot of iguanas, people don't realize that they dig holes, but the really big alpha ones and the ones that do not want to lose their territory, they will stay on their trees. They will not give it up. Wow. All right, guys. And he's mad skinny, so he's not eating. He's trying to stay nice and fit for those iguanas. You're going in here, buddy. Yeah. Oh, just going, going with your baby. Going with your baby. <laughs> Notice how the baby is fat and not skinny. It's because the baby's not alpha. He's alpha. He's a big alpha male, so he's got to, you know, oh, look. Oh, wow. Interesting. Guys, we're going to cover these guys, and we're going to go look and see if we see any more. And we're going to go get the thermometer, and we're going to give you guys some field data. Stay tuned. <laughs> and we have Hooper out here. The man, the myth, the legend. Firefighter native. Florida native. Hooper, back in the day, we didn't see that many iguanas, right? No. no. What happened, man? Jurassic Park? They saw Jurassic Park? Yeah. Godzilla. They saw Godzilla? We got one up there, Hooper. They all, be alpha. They all just want to be alpha, right? We appreciate your service, Hooper. Do you want to take the net off, or is that? Yeah. Yeah. Nice, Hooper. Oh, ooh, ooh, save him, Hooper. Save him. Nope. I'm not going swimming. That's what we're talking about. That frozen state of mind. Scott. Hey, buddy. Where you going? Where you going, man? Put him down here for a second. Let's see what he does. He might just chill out. Oh no, he's he's moving. Oh yeah, he's moving. I'm right here for a sec. Oh no, he's he's ready to go. We might have to put him in the box, bro. Man, whoa, that's super feisty, Hooper. But look at it. Look at the look at look at his face, though, dude. You can see that they're definitely definitely like stunned, you know? Yeah. Like they're they're cold. We'll put him right here for now. You'd be a good iguana. We gotta put him in the bucket, Hooper. Go bag him, Hooper. We tried doing it the easy way, now we gotta do it the hard way, buddy. The silly iguanas, they never learn. Nicely done, Hooper. It's a dirty job, but somebody's gotta do it. Somebody's gotta do it. The silly iguana. Oh, and now we're fishing. He's right there. Yep. That's all we're Look at that. What a grab, dude. What a grab. <gasps> Come here, buddy. Hooper. We got him. We got to bag him and tag him, Hooper. And that's the way we bag him and tag him. Nice. Let's take a look at this one. Dude, he... Whoa. Yeah, he took a... Here, flip him around. Flip him out. Flip him out. Dude, he took a rough one, bro. Yeah. 
Fish out of water, right, Hooper? Yeah. Don't go there, buddy. Hey. Where are you going? Get over here. Nice work, bro. Silly. Another female. They're so silly. Put them in the bag. Come on. It kind of looks like a frog. Dude, what'd you say? I said he kind of looks like a frog. <laughs> spots on him. Oh, yeah. Those are some frogs, all right. <laughs> wow. Cover it. Let's go get some more, bud. Good job, man. So, guys, just like we were talking about, look, this house right here is abandoned building. And look right back there. There's a giant, giant alpha. He's super, he's super big, man. That is a legend right there. I'll show you something else too. We'll zoom out. You can see he's right in the middle. And then look, we zoom in real quick. Boom. Alright guys, so we're gonna go see if we can get a good angle and then maybe we can get that. But we don't want to do anything dangerous because we're right at the edge of the cliff. You know what I'm saying? And it drops about, I don't know, five, six feet in the water. I'm not trying to go swimming. What the heck is this? Hmm. Okay. Let's go see if we can see them. You ready, Hooper? I'll hold this net. Let's go. You just follow me, alright man? Be very careful. Watch your step and watch your head. We should be wearing helmets, honestly. I think we'll be all right. You gotta be in the middle. So he's above here somewhere. Seeing him, Hooper? Mm, no. Oh, I see him. He's right. Oh my God. He's right above yeah, you. Yeah, he's right above us, dude. He's massive. Look, look, right there. We need to get the extension. We can get him. You see him? Yeah. Just angle the camera. He's up there, man. Look. See that orange right there? Yeah, he's female. There's another baby alpha right over there too. Yeah. Let me get the extension. You stay back here, Hooper, all right? Just, just let me go get the extension. I'll be right back. If we can get that alpha, I think this tree will be pretty clear. All right. Yeah, we're on one. All right, all right guys. We got the extendo on the net. We're going in, baby. There's no way we can do this on a uh, on a hot regular day because the iguana would obviously escape. But we have a better chance right here. But this is still super sus. Got it around his head. We're just gonna rip him down, right, Hooper? He's coming with us. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh, shoot. He's right there. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. He's right there. Oh man. Oh. Oh, smack. It's the one that got away. Man. Is there any more up there? Yeah. Watch. He'll come back. Because what the, the, the water is really warm actually. We still got a female right here. Wait, 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 look. We got one right here. I see a tail right here. Yeah, we got one right here. I can't see him. I can't see him. 
see him? No. I still see his tail. Where is he? He's still here in the mud. Yeah, we got one. Wait, no. Wait. No, you don't. Wait right here, Rupa. It's a little bit more difficult than I thought. And the reason being is because we're right above the water. We got another one right here. Are you kidding me? This net sucks. Bro, this net is not staying open, dude. Are you kidding me, bro? Yo, I'm selling right now. This is not good, ladies and gents. This net is like, it's not staying open. All right, there's a big fat female right here. Oh, right into the net. Oh my gosh. We got another one up there. Let me bag this one, we'll be back for that one. The one that got away. He was right there. He was giving me a chance to get him. That was the greater alpha out that tree, without a doubt. Look at this one. Another, another iguanasicle. Frozen iguana. Iguanasicle. Man. All right, Hooper. We got one more to get up there, man. And then we're going to just go look around the bank right there. See if we see that big See now. if we see him. If not, we'll have to come back out here tomorrow and get him. He'll be back. Look, Hooper. Holy. Look. Look. There's more. You want to try getting them? Yeah, might as well. No, I might as well. You going to get them? I'm going to get them. Let's get them, Hooper. Right. Hooper said, might as well get these ones. Look, it don't get much easier than that. But in all honesty, this is not as easy as it looks. You got to like have like a little finesse to it. Right, Hooper? Yeah. No, I'm not going to get him like that. Maybe you can grab him? Sometimes it's just that easy. Yeah? If he would let go. He don't want to let go. Grab his back legs. He's oh, done. shoot. No. Calm down, buddy. Yep, I'll hold him. Grab his back legs. You got to get the others. Here, I got Are you going to bag him? Go bag them, go bag them, right there, bag's right there. And guys, drop a comment and let us know how much you think we're going to fill into our uh, our bucket. We don't even know how much we have right now. But drop a comment and let us know. We're going to go and try to fill it up as much as we can. Let me get one more pick it up. Right, Hooper? As much as we can, right? As much as we can. Nice. Nice, right, yeah, they're warm, getting warm. This is insane. This is insane. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ah, you me. <laughs> the silly iguana is like, who's who's the smart one now, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Silly iguana. Sometimes we take turns. Yo. At least you got one of them. We weren't expecting that. One for three? That was crazy. Hey. It's better than no for three, right? Yeah. We'll take it, man. Good job. Bag them. Maybe some viewers at home can drop some info on how long iguanas can hold their breath. What did we learn from here? It would be it would have been a little bit easier if we had maybe 
a couple extra people with nets or maybe po one poking the uh, iguanas and then catching them with the nets. And also this type of net is not really a good type of net to uh, be swinging in the water. It's, it has like a lot of drag and for whatever reason, like, you know, well, now it's good because it had a fish hook in it. But for whatever reason, we are unsuccessful on an easy capture. Like, you know, I can play back the video and you can see like that was an easy grab that I basically dropped, like fumbled that for no reason. No pressure, no defense, just fumbled the bag. But anyways, I have a whole week of cold weather here in Florida. So enough for next time to come back out here and to be more prepared. So that's the lesson learned for today. Everybody, feisty, eh? Hey? We got him, man. I got something by its side. Yeah, right got like a tick or something. Yeah. Guys, I think we're gonna have to wrap it up right now, man, because we've seen iguanas. We, we, we've seen more iguanas, but they're really high up. And it's like, we can't really get to them. And it's really cold out here. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. We got a total of eight of them in the bag. All big, all nice. So I think that's gonna be good. We do have, oh. We do have more sections to check out. And we do have more iguana removal to do. We're going to be out here in the morning time. So if you want to see that, make sure you're subbed with the bell on. You can check that out. Iguana Man Raj. we got Larry Hooper. We are signing out. Hope you guys enjoyed. God bless. This guy is trying to get away. No, 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 no. We'll see you guys on the next video. Peace. So, this is one of the ones that fell out. That big one, he's... Probably somewhere hiding over here. We're gonna go walk over here real quick, see if we can find him. Give the best effort we can while we're out here, you know? We're trying to get some iguanas. See there can be any. He can just be poking. He can just be out here and get his nose can just be out the water. Be good enough. Are you rolling? Yeah. Guys, we got a fish right here. Barely. Oh, the water. We got him. Oh, yeah, we got him. Whoa. Holy smokes. Whoa. That is a big, invasive, armored catfish. Look at that mouth. Wow, this thing is fat. You know, you know what's crazy, man? These are actually aquarium fish. Somehow they got out here. You want to hear something else crazy? People actually eat these things, Hooper. Wow. I'm not kidding, man. I'm going to bring it to my uncle's house. Let's see what he says. All right? All right, guys. And we're done with the job, man. I'm tired. I'm telling you, like, being sick with the flu, insane. I'm, like... What do I want to wish that on anybody? It's just so much pain, coughing, and it says, sorry, I don't have the endurance or I don't have the strength, or sometimes my brain's not working all the way because I was smart. I was I was sick. I had the I had the flu and it really took me out of my game for a long time. I was like coughing so much, like staying up late, like exhausted coughing, being restless during the day. It was insane. I thought I it was, you know, it's just bad, man. Anyways, um, we're gonna go ahead, we have the temperature, thermometer. And we're going to go ahead and just give you guys the, the, the temperatures that are out here. I'm going to go on the mode. Uh, I guess this is the surface. Click that right here. So it's just accurate right here. The surface temp is about 45 degrees. Pretty, pretty cold, right? Uh, we do have the water right here. I'm going to go down there and see if I can get a surface temp reading for you guys. Just to give you guys a little perception of what the difference is with the water and the air out here. Come down here. Holy crap. Yo. Wow. 66 degrees, the water. Yep. So, those iguanas that went in there, I mean, they are actually probably better off in the water and just sticking their nose out and, and being warmer, you know? It's still cold though, but it just goes to show how the physiology and the biology of these iguanas actually are to be able to withstand cold temperatures like this and not just the iguanas, but all reptiles. A lot of reptiles can survive. I know turtles that can survive in freezing temperatures, alligators, crocodiles, iguanas, and snakes. 
but most reptiles that are smart before a cold front or cold weather comes their their instincts and the and the and the pressures in the air will let them know cold weather's coming hunker down so 95 percent of reptiles go in holes when it gets cold and that's including iguanas all right frogs they know to hunker down toads turtles know to go in the mud or stay in the water or in the reeds alligators same thing and with iguanas it's the same thing but right now since it's breeding season that's why those iguanas are out there in those trees because they're being territorial and they're being they're trying to breed so they got caught lacking anyways guys we got 10 of them in the bag uh we do have some more adventures to go to like i said i'm sick bear with me i know there's been a lot of repeats on the channel but you know um it's the end of the year we have a new year coming 2023 it's going to be amazing it's going to be blessed and you know we're going to have a lot of cool stuff going on so stay tuned for that we're gonna wrap the video up right there so i hope you guys enjoyed like comment hit the red subscribe button